Howdy everybody, this is TJ and welcome to GoFigureNews.com. Now today we are doing something called Figure Fix. I have a few wonderful random figures today that I want to show off and I thought it made sense to take a look at them all together. So, and these come from different makers and different companies. Um, and I am just ecstatic to take a look. I hope you are too. So anyway, before we get uh, this Jolly Rancher started, if you haven't already, start clicking subscribe because we are going to be doing some interesting and wonderful um, surprises in the upcoming months. So I would keep an eye out for that and do, 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 do share with a couple friends as well. We're going to start off today with Ron English, who is an artist, if you are aware of designer toys in general, uh, graffiti art. He is pretty much the grandfather of the genre um, of the last 20 years or so. He has done this sort of spoofy uh, self-portrait, let's call it, an artist gnome. And this is the outside box. His company, of course, is called Propaganda, who puts this out. And I will have links down below for you to take a look at and get one of these for your own. On the back, it says, anyone ahead of his time gets left behind. This is not a toy. So there. All right. Here we go. Here is the Artist Gnome. <laughs> it's very weird looking, I have to say. Uh, but I also have to say I, I love it. And any artist who can poke fun at themselves within the genre of uh, designer toys gets one, two, three, four thumbs up. As many thumbs as you can stick into a pie. This has articulation in the head and the arms. So here's his head. It moves back and forth. Not, not a 360, but it moves back and forth just in case you wanted to articulate a little bit. And then the arms, which have a paintbrush and a palette, both move up. Um, and those move up reasonably tall. So you can have some fun with your Ron English three-eyed, two-mouthed, crazy looking gnome figure. I also like that on the t-shirt, there's a little um, sort of, I don't know what you call that, bunny gnome with three little ears. And then on the back, as you can see, it reads propaganda. Now this is perfect for right around this time of the year in April. Um, and, and actually this is perfect as an April Fool's because of the pastel -y color, which is all about spring. You may have um, seen the artist with his big moppy hair in the past. And I love the fact that they've done it in this sort of like kind of almost mustardy yellow. No one's hair is really that color. Um, but it matches perfectly with the contrast with the, uh, the pink and the lavender and the sort of light teal. And the big, huge, bulging eyes, the goatee, respect. So, Mr. Ron English, this is the artist gnome. He's about, I'm going to say he's three and a half inches tall, possibly four. I'm not sure. Um, if I have a definite, you'll see it pop up underneath me here. I love the way that the paint is dripping off both of the palette, if you can see that here. And also on the brush. Um, the brush and the palette are both, you know, permanently in the sculpt. The sculpt of the hair is really cool. It's very wavy, very thick. Um, and the, the piece, all in all, is really well made. Um, this is also, uh, you have to uh, give props to 3D Retro, who probably produced the figure. That is the wonderful new artist gnome. If you don't have it and you want it, 
go grab it. I don't know what the edition is. My assumption is for an open edition, I'd say there's probably some cap on it. So have a look. You never know. And it's the Atomic Bear Tank. All the way from Kowloon, Hong Kong, comes the Mini Key. Now, this comes from toy2r.com. And on the back, it says the Angel Wings Jet Propulsion System. So get prepared for the Atomic Bear Tank. We're going to open him up. Uh, this is also a collaboration with Smash to Tokyo Toys. And you can find them in Australia. So this is an international collaboration. Oh, look at this one. He's really cool. We are really liking this particular figure. Um, and let's see, he has articulation in the arms. It sticks a little because it's brand new and it just came out of the box. Take me to your leader. And let's see, does the head, the head also moves. So I'm noticing this in a lot of designer toys these days with the, the heads and the arms, I guess, there is, um, uh, you know, kind of a, a cool crossover from the designer toy world and the action figure toy world because there's a lot of people collecting both these days, so it makes sense. So he is a riveted mouse. You can take a look at the back. He is somewhat of a mashup of a, uh, a mouse and a rabbit and a, a bear and a robot um, kind of gives you a little bit of Iron Man and you've got the gears in the ears and the rivets along the skull um, the paint job which actually looks like decals I'm gonna call these decals because if that was a paint job it would be super perfection I believe it's probably you know like a DIY style um, sculpt and then there are decals uh, atop. Uh, he's got a little jetpack propulsion system on his back there. It would be cool if it was actually like an additional piece that you could put on but you know it looks fantastic. It's very graphic, very geometric. This figure came out in 2011 so it's been out for some time. You'll notice that on Go Figure News we we don't have any kind of uh, rhyme or reason to why and when we will present a figure. It's always good to look back, but we, we didn't review this in 2011. We're looking at it right now in 2016. So five years, it's still fresh. I think that that's kind of important when it comes to these types of figures out in the market. So... Let's do a 360 for you. That's his profile. And then this is the back. And the side. And the front again. Now, you'll also notice that this ear is bigger than this ear, which I think is fantastic. I am actually not a fan of cookie cutter anything. So that actually makes me quite happy. And we'll put him alongside the artist gnome so you can see the scale. He's obviously a little bit bigger. I would say with the ears, uh, he's a, like a, a clear four inch tall figure. And finally today, we're gonna look at Oi Cthulhu. Now, this comes from Mighty Jacks. Now we have actually looked at a couple of figures from Mighty Jacks as of late. Uh, you can just flip through our uh, current reviews and you will see at least two recently and we did one maybe six months back or so. Uh, this is, packaging alone is a, a fantastic uh, presentation. It's, uh, it's got all this sort of like almost what you would call retro sort of styling. And then let me to have you take a look at the back here. This is the action figure made of resin. And I have never seen a Cthulhu action figure. So it's fantastic to see a fatal attraction for the abstraction. So Mighty Jacks, Plastic Foundry, Earthly Deities, 
and Ralph Neese all were part of the making of this figure created by Daniel Yu. So if you're a fan of Daniel Yu, you might have seen a story that we published on our website just recently with uh, a, uh, a short interview with Daniel. You will notice that this is within his style. Now I'm going to pop it. The, the cool thing about the way that they package this and, and where, you know, this succeeds where a lot of action figures fail is that they have made this backing card such where the plastic can pop off the back without taking off the staples at the top so you don't have to destroy the packaging in order to actually take a look at the figure. So here's Cthulhu. Oh my goodness, he is resin. He is an action figure. However, there's not much action involved. Um, he pretty much is a little mini uh, resin statue, so to speak. And he comes with some special extras, which I will say is a fantastic addition. And I love, love, love when people create figures that have magnets. So the hand can be put on with a magnet. So you can have this style hand, which is kind of going like this, or you can take that off and pop in the other hand. And the back of the hand has a, um, a sort of uh, uh, an eye tattooed on the back. So he's going like this with that hand, kind of like a rock and roll hand. This one has a P with an X through it. And then we've got his wings, which pop on just like magnets on the back. Interestingly enough, the magnet that fits the right and fits the left are magnetized such that you can't put the wrong one in the wrong place. Let me see here, what to, where to start? Um, he's got a motorcycle jacket on with uh, silver painted rivets. There is a zipper that's painted in a fantastic way. I love the actual um, metallic tone. It actually really looks like a zipper. He's got a tattoo on his arm, kind of like hieroglyphics almost. I love his like Doc Martin boots in that kind of maroon style um, color with the uh, big stitching on the bottom to give you a, a real kind of cool effect. He's got some bandages around his knee and he's wearing jeans that have pockets in the back. They're a la Levi's, although the, um, the, the, the stitching actually is a W, more like Wranglers, uh, but it's got even the little... Uh, the little leather um, label on the top where it's around the waistband. <laughs> they, they definitely have thought of all the things. His bulbous head is really kind of ugly and wonderful at the same time, just like all Daniel Hughes figures are. There's all of his tentacles hanging down, his black kind of matte eyes, um, you know, squid, man, demon. He's a whole lot of different things. We absolutely positively love Cthulhu here at Go Figure News. We have reviewed a plushie. We've reviewed um, another smaller figure. We, we're not into like reviewing anything or everything. We're really into figures here. So that is Cthulhu from Mighty Jacks. Here is Atomic Bear Tank, so you can see the difference in size. And that comes from Smash Tokyo Toys. And then you have the artist gnome from Propaganda and Run English with 3D Retro. So, bing, bing, bing. And I think they make a wonderful uh, triple set because you've got a whole range of colors, a whole range of attitudes in terms of design. You've got the real sort of geometric kind of almost perfect factory type figure. You've got the artist sort of unique um, type figure. And then you've got the really um, strange um, off the cuff uh, take on a historical figure from the underground. This has been TJ. We have had a lot of fun with figures today. Check us out on gofakingnews.com, both on Facebook, and you can also tweet us anytime you'd like. And don't forget to subscribe.
We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.